Welcome to Enchanting Women Foundation's first annual Phenomenal Woman Gala, featuring some of today's most preeminent women from around the world. Welcome to the first Phenomenal Women event, hosted and sponsored by Taran Lynch, whom is the president and founder of Enchanting Women and the vice president, Shay Fox. We welcome all of you all here tonight um, to celebrate the blessings that the Enchanting Women Foundation is doing here in the D.C., Northern Virginia, Maryland area um, for the battle women, homeless women, um, the children, and we'd like to thank you all for being here. Tonight, I would like to introduce Mrs. Lorette Ellsworth Ahrens. She is the Mrs. America 2002. She is also 1997. Mrs. United States, who won the first title. She is a mother of five, a stepmother of two, a husband, Dave, are, and her uh, grandparents of eight. They have a nationally syndicated financial radio show. She is an executive producer of the Mrs. Maryland American Pageant. Please, let's give a warm welcome for Mrs. Lorette Ellsworth Aaron. Welcome to the Enchanted Women Foundation first annual uh, award ceremony. And the w Enchanted Women Foundation is a nonprofit 401 3C organization with a mission of service to all women, children, and teens negatively impacted by many of life's <coughs> disparaging circumstances, such as and not limited to homelessness, domestic violence, and teen pregnancy. Enchanting Women's Foundation began in 2010, and only a year ago, and in that time frame, they have made remarkable strides through providing various services by the way of food, clothing, sheltered assistance, and teen mentorship throughout the DC metropolitan area, Virginia and Maryland included. And all of you tonight are part of a wonderful event. We collectively, as a community, are caring individuals and have come together to both celebrate the phenomenal women and learn more about the Enchanted Women Foundation and raise awareness of the needs of our many women and children throughout the DC metropolitan area. The foundation uh, has continued to be a viable option to meet the needs of hurting, downtrodden, and disadvantaged women and girls throughout the uh, a commitment of service. Simply put, the Enchanted Women's Foundation has a service, a heart of service, and it's going to go the distance reach the masses, and meet the needs of so very many people. And thank you so much for all being here. With that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you some wonderful ladies, and namely, and they're going to come in and introduce to us the poem that represents the Enchanted Women Foundation. Please welcome Maria Harper, Shelley Miller, Lindsay Mask, Tara Gates Anderson, and Irena Taylor, and also the president of the Enchanted Women Foundation, Terrain Lynch. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size, but when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's by the reach of my arms and the span of my hips, the stride of my step and the curl of my lips. I am a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. And all in the room, just as cool as you please. And to a man, man either stand or bend at their knees. They swarm around me like a, hun a hive of honeybees. They say it's the shine in my eyes, the flash in my teeth, the swing in my waist, the joy in my feet. I'm a phenomenal woman, that's me, a phenomenal woman. Men themselves have wondered what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I try to show them, they say they still can't see. I say it's the arch in my back, the sun in my smile, the ride in my breast, the grace in my style. I am a woman, phenomenal, phenomenal woman, that is me. Now you understand why my head's not bowed. I don't have to jump or shout about or talk real loud. But when you see me passing by, it should make you proud. 
I say. It is the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, and the need of my care. I am a woman. Phenomenally phenomenal woman. That's me. We are phenomenal, phenomenal women. women. Now, please allow me to introduce the president and the founder of the Enchanting Women's Foundation. She created the foundation as a, as a means of out, outreach for women who might view themselves as being powerless for a variety of reasons. Something that the founder experienced during a long battle with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer in 2002. And she won that battle, thankfully. Terrain Lynch, our founder and president of the Enchanting Women's Foundation. Thank you so much for being here. And along with the Vice President, Shay Sparks, along by her side, aren't they beautiful? Please give a round warm welcome for these lovely ladies. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. For those who don't know what Enchanting Women Foundation is and the birth of Enchanting Women Foundation, I started this organization in 2001 when I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was told that I had less than six months to live, but God said I have a mission for you. And my mission is to serve the people. So on numerous occasions, nights, weekends, you'll see Shay and I out in D.C. on the streets serving the homeless, those that are less fortunate than most of us out here today. And I want to thank each and one of you, each and every one of you for coming out to support us on this special event. Again, thank you so very much for, um, there's any place that you could have been tonight and we are so humbled and honored that you took time out of your very busy schedule on a Redskins and Dallas football day <laughs> in the rain to come and support us. We really, really, really appreciate you. Um, there aren't enough words, there's not enough claps or applause that we can give you. We wanted you to know that we appreciate you for appreciating us and helping us collectively as a community give back to disadvantaged women, to many of the school systems in DC um, that we go out and we have mentorship programs. We want you to know that a, pro the, a portion of your proceeds will go back into giving those young women, older women, homeless women, um, regardless of race or social economic, a chance and a helping hand to say that there's someone here that cares. Now we have a very special treat, two lovely young ladies who I had an opportunity to meet a little bit earlier, Tina and Trina Fletcher. Now they hail from Arkansas originally, and Tina actually works with the Obama campaign, and she has been a teacher, and I teased her because I said, my goodness, those high school boys must have loved you as a teacher, and you'll see here in a second. And, and then of course, her sister Trina is an industrial engineer. They are only 25 years old. Please come up and explain to us exactly what you're doing here with the Dream Girls DMV organization. They are the leaders. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, please warm wel uh, welcome for Tina and Trina Fletcher. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Tina Fletcher. It's my twin sister, Trina Fletcher. Um, we want to thank Terrain and Shay for inviting us out to speak tonight about Dream Girls DMV and the work that we do. Um, as she said, we are from Arkansas, and I came to D.C. to join the political world. Um, and my sister joined me soon after, and we just saw a really big need for helping girls here in D.C., especially in the southeast area where I taught high school at Anacostia. And so we started an organization focused on helping young girls get exposed to the opportunities that are available here for them in D.C. We started out by taking them to a Washington Mystics basketball game. Um, then we took them to another game, and the parents asked us to start a pull-out program, and we did that. And so I'm going to let my sister talk more about Dream Girls and the work that we do. So we started Dream Girls last fall, um, and we're on our third cycle uh, semester. And um, we just teach the girls leadership development, um, etiquette training. We have a partnership with the YWCA uh, National Capital Area a chapter. So we have to incorporate a social justice aspect, which is very important. We actually just did the walk to end modern day slavery uh, that took place here in DC. Um, our younger girls, because we have girls that are age four to eight also. So we put them in the Howard Homecoming Parade. Um, and, and like I said, it's just a huge value add to our program. But one of the most important aspects of the program is bringing in speakers. And uh, Terrain and Shay were actually the best speakers that we had 
this fall and we're just so thankful that they came in and, and shared their stories and their experiences so we are behind them 100 percent on what they're doing we look forward to working with them in the future with our program and their programs and uh, getting out there helping the homeless x y and z so we're very thankful to be here so we have two other lovely young ladies that we'll visit with in a minute here they are uh, part of the wheatley elementary school youth empowerment through ewf mentorship program Please give a warm welcome to Lindsay and Tanisha. Um, we are a part of We the Education Campus, a school in the district. Um, we partnered with the Enchanted Women last summer um, through a servathon at our school. They were there helping um, put books in the library and various things we needed around the school. Um, our school is located in Northwest, the inner city, Northeast, I'm sorry, the inner city. Um, right on 8th Street in the Trinidad area. Um, so we are very, we are in need of inspiring our women um, and our young girls and parents alike. So the Enchanted Women came um, last summer and helped our students get ready for prom and the boat ride. So they have just been really inspirational to our girls. So Tanisha and I have put together a program at our school called Positive Expressions, um, where Enchanted Women come in two times a month um, to help us um, inspire our young girls. And this is Tanisha Dixon, a social studies teacher, but she does so much more than that. And I'm the school counselor at the school. Our roles extend further out than just teaching and school counseling. Enchanted Women really gives our young ladies an opportunity to see positive women who look like them. I think oftentimes, you know, they see the celebrities on TV and the entertainers, and they really aspire to be like that. But these are people who they can touch, who they can talk to, people who look like them, who can inspire them to do positive things in their communities. And it's been a really wonderful experience because Lindsay and I are there every day, but they really look forward to um, Shanter and coming in um, and just talking to them because that's what they really want and need. Um, so we, we are really appreciative of everything that they do at our school. Uh, Mrs. Maryland, Teresa Scanlon, uh, where are you, Teresa? Please come up and say hello to everybody. Can you come up here for a second, Teresa? Her name may sound vaguely familiar just because the current rainy Miss America is named Teresa Scanlon. So you want to just say hello to everybody? Yes. yes, I can't tell you how inspired I am by all the ladies here this evening that are giving back to their communities and, and through the school systems because I was very much in the situation that some of these uh, young ladies are that they're working with now. My mother started having children at 16 and uh, we ended up in foster care and in an orphanage and I was lucky enough to get with a foster family who really taught me that it was important to set goals and when you reach for that goal and you achieve it, then you set a new goal. And if you can't get to that goal, then you change your goal. And that's the most important thing that we can teach all of our young ladies, that, that we can make everything better, we don't have to repeat the mistakes, and, and we can all be successful. And I, I think that Shay and Train are doing a fabulous job. So, uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, my husband is over there at the bar. I'm not a typical Mrs. Maryland. I've been married for 30 years, and we have adult children, and uh, I'm very proud to represent the Married Women of Maryland. And anything that I can do with any of the organizations that are represented here tonight, uh, I will give my information to Terrain and Shay, and I would love to help everyone out. Thank you so much, Teresa. Now, of course, for the event this evening, we have three lovely honorees, and we are so excited that they are able to be with us this evening. They have some beautiful awards over there that we're about to present. I would like to call Terrain and Shay, please, to the stage, uh, because, of course, they are instrumental in this entire Enchanting Women's Foundation. Uh, they are the, the judge and the jury when it comes to who is going to be receiving these awards, and there's so much that goes into everything that these gals have done. And so with that, we are going to, would you like to get the first award winner up here? Okay. The first award is for the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Please come to the stage, Shavana Williams, and she is the marketing and sales veteran with a lot of experience in the sports industry. She is the founder and chief marketing officer of SW Group, a marketing and communications firm in Washington, D.C. She also leads the Hills and Helmets, a program that educates women 
on the game of, of football and to help them to enjoy the conversation at the office around the water cooler with their <laughs> colleagues uh, through a, a workshop and through a weekly blog. So that sounds like a lot of fun and uh, we're so honored to have you here to receive this award. Well, thank you, Terrain and Shay. I am My truly pleasure. humbled and appreciate this award, this award this evening. Good evening, everyone. As uh, Teresa shared, I am the owner of SW Group, a marketing and communications firm here in Washington, D.C., and also the owner of Hills and Helmets, now an online magazine. When I returned to the D.C. area after leading marketing for the Detroit Lions, a couple of attorneys in the D.C. area asked me to explain football analogies. That was the catalyst to what is now Hills and Helmets. So from just explaining a couple of football analogies to attorneys and lobbyists in this area, it grew into a blog and an organization that not only helps ladies with professional development by laying, by leveling the conversation in the boardroom, by understanding these analogies that are so often used in sports, but we now leverage sports and my work in sports and the NFL and the NBA to increase awareness around organizations that focus on helping youth, women, and um, just empowering youth and women. And that's why I am so thrilled to be connected with the Enchanted Women Foundation and also very humbled to receive this award tonight. So I actually have something for Shay and Terrain because of all of the awesome work that they do. I am very pleased to be working with you all. I appreciate your support of SW Group as well as Sills and Helmets and look forward to working with you more in the future. So this is for you all. Thank you. one of these for a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Can we give another warm applause to Shavana? If you like so one much. of these t-shirts, make sure you check out the Hills and Helmets uh, website. Can you give them that website? Hills, the letter N, helmets.com. Right. Thank you. Support the cause, ladies. All right. Our second honoree is the Visionary of the, war, of the Year Award. Goes to Janae Michelle Ingram. And she was crowned Miss New Jersey uh, USA in 2004 and Jersey City in, 2000, in late 2003. She currently works in DC at the Bureau Chief of National Action Network, founded and led by Reverend Al Sharpton. She writes a weekly blog that sometimes appears in thegrio.com and appears weekly on the Reverend Sharpton show, Keep It Real with Reverend Sharpton. Love that guy, right? He's me awesome. Okay, she's a, a board member of the Women in Entertainment Empowerment Network, the WEEN, and she has started a scholarship campaign for children and youth in impoverished communities called Ambassadors of Hope. Please welcome Janae Michelle Ingram, our, our awardee for Visionary of the Year. Lovely award for a lovely lady. I just want to thank uh, the Enchanting Women Foundation as well as Shay and Terrain for um, picking me for this honor. I'm very blessed um, to be here tonight in front of all of you. I'm here with my, my parents who really are the foundation for all of the success that I've had throughout life. I am from Camden, New Jersey, which is one of the toughest cities in the country, um, and yet I've gone on to succeed and do great things. And so my mission in life is to continue to give back um, along with my friend Arlene Wube and Belinda Ortiz. Hey Arlene! <laughs> uh, we started Ambassadors of Hope and we hope to continue to use that work to give back to, to children and families who are in need. Um, both of us grew up in Camden and so we're here. We're a testament to what can happen when people give back and people empower and encourage other people and we hope that all of you here tonight um, we'll, we'll somehow find a way, whether it's through Enchanting Women Foundation or through another organization, to give back and empower others. So thank you so much again for this award. I'm really blessed and, and honored to be here. Thank you. Thanks. Can we give her a warm applause? Thank you. 